Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, Fish Tank Monsters. And today's video is going to be on gravel vacuuming without actually doing a water change using this bad boy here. I don't know if you can see all that. This big old mess, but for the FX6 gravel filter, utilizing your canister filter. This is an excellent tool to clean up detritus without having to do a full-blown water change. So without further ado guys, let's get right to that, shall we? Okay, so the first step here is you want to get some moisture on your suction cups. Put my finger in there without my fish biting it off. Let me get these suction cups. Wet. I like to stick this onto my tank this way. I've had much better results. Fluval, if you watch videos on their video, they have this part sideways, and in my opinion, it doesn't work as well as it being up and down because the water dumps straight down into that sock and then circulates back into the filter. So now you grab your other end of the hose and you're gonna hook it up. I don't know if you guys are gonna be able to see me because I'm 280. <laughs> so what you do is you unscrew this cap because this is gonna fight me now. There we go. Take your plunger off, put it to the side. Take the end of your hose, hook it straight on. And you're gonna push this in as far as it can go. You want that snug. And you're gonna screw this back on. Now when you're screwing this on, it's opposite thread, so you gotta tighten by going to the left. Okay, once that's all nice and secure, you wanna take your inlet side and you wanna close that off. Now, what you wanna do is you wanna make sure that your tube is filled with water. Our tube is filled with water and then you're going to open up the bottom of the drain here. I'm going to open this up. Okay. That's going to start the siphoning process. So at this point now, it's a little difficult when you have a larger tank like, like this and you're going to open up the closed valve. Open that right up and that's it. Then you would just start it like a normal gravel vac. So you can clearly see all that waste going straight up the tube. I like to do this a couple of times a month. It helps keep your water changes down. And you always have to do water changes, but this helps keep the, the frequency of your water changes down. 
less waste, less ammonia, less nitrite, less water change. Okay guys, so I finished the gravel vac and when you're done gravel vacuuming with the FX6 gravel um, vacuum, you wanna make sure you have a bucket nearby because when you turn off the hose, some of that back siphon will dump in the bucket and if you don't have the bucket ready, it's gonna just make a horrible mess all over the floor. So basically you just wanna turn off the nozzle from up here Take it out of the tank, dump it into the bucket. Then go down your connection where you hooked up to the filter with the gravel hose. You wanna turn it back on and open the inlet side where we had closed it off earlier. You wanna open it back up. As you can see, there's air pumping through my filter. The FX6, you guys probably know that it's going to siphon all that out automatically. It'll do it all on its own. It doesn't take very long, maybe 10, 15 minute gravel back and helps keep your fish tank nice and tidy. Have a good day. Another point I want to make to you guys is whenever you guys open in your lids up and you get the opportunity to get the water that goes inside the channel on the top of your tank. You can see the backside on mine is kind of grimy now. But that's where you're gonna get your algae buildup. It's that brown nasty stuff. You wanna just take a rag or a paper towels or whatnot and you wanna keep this as clean as possible. I'm gonna be cleaning that up. That's just atrocious. But you just want to keep that as clean as possible. It, it, it's not very uh, apparent, you know, very good looking at all. So, and you want to keep your hoods as clean as possible because that actually can change the lighting inside your tank. Sometimes you might think that your water is dirty when it's really not. It's just because you got a lot of junk and debris on the inside of your glass. I did a video earlier with this guy the robo snail and uh, you want to you know use glass cleaner and keep the front viewing pane as clean as possible that uh, that goes a long way I hope you guys enjoyed my video today keep your eyes out for fish tank monsters for future videos and as always my friends peace